guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lake Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be joining you today from our Zoom Room Studios here in Toledo, Ohio. I have the fortunate opportunity today to be joined by Skip Sorensen, the CEO of Century Boat Company. He's got some exciting news for us and also going to tell us what's happening with Century Boats as they navigate these waters out of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So, Skip, how are you today, sir? I'm doing great, Eric. Thanks for having me, and I uh, hope you're safe and healthy. We are. We are. It looks like you guys are doing well down there. Are you there in your factory right now, Skip? I am. Yes, I have a Century uh, 2200 behind me, and uh, hopefully we won't have too much grinding noise going on, but we are uh, busy at work building boats. Well, this is pretty exciting because we haven't really talked to too many boat manufacturers via our interview. So you guys are actually out there actively producing boats right now. Is that something that's just happened this week within the last couple of days? Is today your first day actually, back? Yeah, Eric, we actually uh, started back up a week ago Monday. Uh, we were on furlough for a few weeks uh, due to the pandemic and the governor of Florida's orders to shelter in place. Uh, but we have implemented a lot of safety measures. Uh, everyone in the factory other than me today is uh, wearing a mask. Uh, we've got hand washing stations up and we've got a sheet of precautionary activities to take. And uh, our focus on the startup was really on our employees' safety. Well, today being May 14th, I think we're at a point right now where the state of Florida is open for voting pretty much any county you're going into. Is that correct? It's hard to really discern which counties are open or not, but the vast majority of them have reopened. Uh, there's a significant amount of voting going on. It's a great shelter in place, social isolation activity. So we're seeing a lot of people out on the water. You know, I got to tell you, Skip, I'm a little jealous. If I was having to shelter in place, I would much rather do it in the late winter, early spring in Florida than in Toledo, Ohio. So you're very sure. fortunate to be down there, my man. Sure. It's beautiful <laughs> down here. So tell me a little bit about some of the exciting news that's going on over at Century. I had heard that um, there was an acquisition recently. Yes. Um, we actually have acquired... Uh, Century Boats, uh, Sorfam Capital acquired Century Boats as a majority control of that company now and have invested significant amount of capital in the business uh, to get it running and up to speed again. Uh, and along those lines, we've also acquired a new product line, uh, Vanquish Boats, and uh, have renamed that the Coronado after the Coronado line that existed within Century back in the 50s through the 70s. Well, and Century Boats were originated up here in Michigan. They're, they're, they're a Midwest boat originally, and now you guys are producing them down in Florida. So you've got some ties all throughout the Midwest. We do. Uh, I recently bought an RV in Phoenix and drove it over to Florida, and we have our company logo plastered across that RV. And at every gas station I stopped at, I had two or three people coming up to me, oh, I owned a Century. So it's an immensely popular brand. It's got a great heritage. It's the all-American classic boat, high quality, high value. And uh, people have said to me, where's, where's Century been? So we're in the midst of uh, rebrand and a resurrection of the brand, much like Chris Craft went through recently. And we're super excited. Uh, we feel like we have the products now that we need to, uh, to really offer to our customers. Uh, the Vanquish line that we just bought, uh, the original founder of that line in the early 2000s had a love affair with the Coronado, Century Coronado boat, and he went out to find the tools of that boat. He found them, but they were too decrepit to use. So he ended up going to Doug Zern and saying, Doug, I want to reinvent the Coronado into a modern day boat. Doug designed the first Vanquish in that mode. So when we ended up buying the brand in the business, we felt like we were bringing the Coronado back home to Century. And so we're really better. excited about what it adds to the equation. If, if it's a Doug Zern design, you're already way ahead of all the competition out there. Just a phenomenal boat designer. Thank you. Yes, we're, we're excited. The, uh, 
The Vanquish brand, now named Coronado, is a New England styled boat that's mostly inshore, lake, river, freshwater oriented. It can go out in the salt water and traverse uh, many of the areas up in the Northeast, uh, but it's also great for family cruising uh, here in Florida and out. We have a dealer in Newport Beach, and uh, it's just a, an amazing boat that we're pleased to have in our stable of, of uh, boats. So Skip, for all of us boaters up here in the Great Lakes area, and indeed anybody that's watching this, no matter where they're at, if we wanted to get in touch with somebody to talk about purchasing a Century, taking a test drive on one, or just seeing them at a boat show coming up here, hopefully this summer or fall, uh, where am I going to be able to get in touch with you guys so I can find out more information about Century? Because it does have such a a, a good following all, all around the country. Uh, we want to be able to reach out and, and touch uh touch with you guys, uh, how, how can I do that? Sure, uh, the best way right now for someone in the Great Lakes area and the Midwest to contact us is through our website, centuryboats.com. Uh, they can email us or telephone us. Uh, we don't have dealers in those areas today, but we are actively seeking dealer representation in those areas and we'll have them within the next six months. Uh, so we're excited to be up there and uh, be able to serve those customers with both new products and service. But for now, they can reach out to me or to anyone in our organization here at Century. Uh, and we, we serve uh, customers who don't have a dealer in their area all the time. Okay, very good. So this is for the full Century Boat lineup, whether it's a dual council, the center council, or the Coronado brand, which That's is right. kind of the down east boat style that uh, is part of the Vanquish acquisition. So all of these models are all available now at the centuryboat.com website. Is that correct? They are. Yes, we've added uh, the Vanquish now Coronado line into our website, and we're in the midst of a new development of, uh, of our website but the website's up and running and uh, is available. We actually will have in the very near future, the next few weeks, a store there where you can purchase a boat online uh, with a credit card deposit. And uh, we'll have photos of those boats up there. So anyone in the Great Lakes area uh, can go on our website, see the available product, click on a button, and uh, purchase that boat or contact a representative to speak to. So Skip, I did want to ask you really quick, this boat line's been around since 1926. That's uh, almost a hundred years. Uh, tell me a little bit about the evolution of the brand and where it's at today and, and where it's come from. Yeah, as you mentioned, Eric, it is a Great Lakes oriented uh, company originally and many different styles of boats have been created over the years. Uh, speed boats, the Thunderbolt was a world, world renowned uh, racing vehicle that set records. Uh, we've had many different styles of ski boats, cabin cruisers, day boats, and now the current configuration of offshore boats. And really to, to highlight that heritage and history of the, the business, we are in the midst of creating a customer center uh, for our customers to come in and look at options and materials, fabrics, engine selections. And attached to that will be a large museum with various century boats from, from different decades. So we have one boat in there now from the 50s, a wood racer. Uh, we'll have three other boats, including a Coronado with gull wings. Uh, it'll be an amazing place for fans of the century brand to come and look at memorabilia and artifacts of, of the yesteryear of Century and to be able to see the factory and what's happening today with the modern Century and the modern Coronado. So we're super excited about that. We expect to have a christening party sometime in Q3, let's say September, October timeframe. Uh, and it'll be a great place for our customers to come and uh, revisit their, their history with Century. Skip, this is pretty exciting news. I'm, I'm very appreciative that you will share this with us, not only about the acquisition and what you guys are doing over there at Century, but um, what's going on down in the Florida market with boat manufacturers. To know that you guys are up and running and putting boats out there in the market currently and that you're busy doing acquisitions and, and kind of making the miracle happen. We really appreciate you sharing your story with us today. 
Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we're super excited. We have a lot of new products that are being introduced soon, Eric. Uh, we have a prototyping area that we've created in our shop. So we have a 24 that's going to come out for the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show in late October, early November. Uh, that'll be a new model for us. We have a 33 that'll likely be ready for Miami. Uh, so lots of great uh, product development going on. Our dealers are super excited about the combination and about the opportunities that they have going forward. And we intend to get this brand back to what people remember. And uh, we're going to grow and have a lot of fun doing it. Well, Skip, again, I greatly appreciate your time today. We're super excited for you. We do definitely want you to come back and share some more information with us as things uh, become available. And uh, my man, we'll look forward to seeing you out on the water. Sounds great, Eric. Thanks so much for your time and uh, interest in Century. Thanks. Take care, Skip. Bye-bye.